Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something different. I'll be trying to wire a 3.5 auxiliary jack into my old tape deck. Over here. It's a Sony something something. I use this because it's period correct. It's a tape deck. It's nice. Um, fits with the car. It has a steering wheel volume control thing. I'll show that later. Which is neat. And the tape deck in this doesn't work. So I can't use one of those uh, 3.5 audio cassettes. Whatever. I'll be opening this up. And we'll be soldering a 3.5 millimeter jack into the input from the FM tuner into the amplifier. I have a short schematic here. This is supposed to be the uh, radio. Somebody's done this before. And there's two resistors here you can solder into. You can't really sol solder into traces. So I'll be soldering into the holes where the, I think these are capacitors. Something or other. We'll see when, once we get into it. So I'll be soldering to those. This is a switch 3.5, meaning that once you plug it in, it switches input. So it passes through signal until you put an input in. Plug your phone in, you got auxiliary and take it back out, you have radio. I set you guys up on the shelf over there in this shitty ass car mount. This is uh, what remains of the tape deck. I tried to plug it into the head, but then I found this tutorial guide thing for this exact stereo. So. That's neat. These two are these two. So this is where I'll be soldering it in, trying to get this to work. Got them in here. You see? This is C102 and this is C202. These two capacitors gotta come out. And this is where I wire in the auxiliary input. I guess I'll just take them out now. I'm gonna use red, this input, input here, comes in here and then goes on that way. So red one's gonna come in here, go to the switch, and then the black one's gonna go from the switch into this one. Okay, I can do that. Now I have to come in from the other side of the board, which is gonna be a pain in the ass. Structural hot glue. So now we've ended up with two sets of wires, which is exactly what we need. Okay, so the ground is gonna come from there. It's this pin. It's the first one from the left. On the second row of pins on the tuner side. That's the ground, that's why I'll be soldering the ground too. Put in the switch. Red comes from the tuner into the switch and then black goes from the jack and forwards wherever it goes. I think it goes into the amplifier.
is now a test of the system. As you can hear, there we go. As you can hear, there's music from the tuner coming in. We're gonna plug in. Oh, it cuts off. But wait, I can use my phone. Oh, yeah! That's right. And then if I unplug it. Haha, <laughs> yes! The steer is now wired. All I have to do is mount it to the front plate. I'm gonna mount it with the tape deck opened. That's what I'm gonna put in. I call that tight and I call this finished. This is what it looks like. I think it looks pretty neat. It's a lot more period correct than any kind of modern stereo and it works just fine. It even retains the steering wheel controls, which I had on previously. Uh, they're a bit haphazardly mounted, but these are my favorite feature of this stereo. This is basically it. I have a 3.5 jack. I can put my, I can plug my phone in like that. And you saw how it worked before. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.